Okay, let's take a really quick look at the 28 millimeter uh, Voigtlander. Um, right now I actually have a uh, 52 millimeter filter in front of it. Um, as I was uh, cut off in the uh, prior video there, to keep it in a timely fashion, I was saying that this lens is a must-have and uh, humorously identified it as uh, not only the quality of the tits, <laughs> but that which defines the very category itself. It's seven, seven elements and six groups. Uh, it's insanely sharp. Uh, the color rendition is absolutely incredible. Um, the renditional distortion is basically zero. Obviously, you know, a, if anything's got any glass in it at all, it's basically not zero, but uh, it's as close to zero as I could define a perfect lens. It is just uh, smooth and silky as uh, focusing uh, hot butter. Of the uh, current uh, three Nikkor lenses, uh, which are uh, 28 millimeters, the 28 millimeter 1.8G has a lot of elements in it. 28 millimeter 2.8D autofocus and 28 millimeter 2.8 AIS manual focus. This lens in sharpness, color rendition, detail, color saturation, and depth, it blows the blows the hell out of every other uh, of those uh, other three Nikkor lenses. It blows the hell out of all of them. As you can see, it's incredibly thin. Here I can actually focus it very smoothly with my pinky finger. The throw on it is not that far. Throw is a focus uh, between closest uh, to infinity. Here you can see the actual throw of the lens. Now this would normally not be on your lens. This is obviously a 52 millimeter filter. It is an f2.8. Uh, the vacuum deposited crystalline coating of the air coating on the front and also the internal elements, of course you never clean those, is actually so fine that cleaning it with distilled water and Q-tip uh, is a, a non-entity because it will always leave smudges. That's actually a good sign. The only way you can actually clean these properly is uh, with 70%, 30% uh, isopropyl alcohol, meaning 30% rubbing alcohol. 30% distilled water. Uh, if you try to clean these with a Q-tip and distilled water like a common Nikkor, you'll just only end up frustrating yourself because you'll never get it clean, and that's due to the incredibly good uh, AR coating that uh, that are deposited on these by Casina. Of course, Casina owns Voigtlander, and basically we're talking about Zeiss slash Casina slash Voigtlander. You want to think of them all the same entity, that's perfectly fine. However, there is differentiation there. And, uh, and I think tax status and something else, I don't, no, you're not interested in those details. Um, something else, the other 28mm uh, Nikkors do not have that this one does have, and it's just basically non-existent on a wide problem like this, is it does have incredible bokeh. As well as the other uh, Voigtlander that I mentioned a week ago, this one does have CPU contact, so it can be used on a D3000 or D5000 series. This works exactly the same as any other current modern autofocus Nikkor, whether it be D-series or G-series, the only difference being that it is manual focus. So you have CPU contacts here that it tells the D3000, 5000, 7, all current Nikkors out there, it tells it what is on the lens uh, for TTL metering and for flash metering. So that's a really good thing. Okay, It's not like an AIS lens. It has contacts that communicate with the camera to tell what is sitting on the front of it. Not only where it's focused at, but what is the focal length of the lens. So, Anyway, this lens new is uh, $470. Uh, used, I mean, typically $330, $350. Same thing as a 40 millimeter here. And uh, so that's it. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, this lens is uh, just a couple, just a hair over two millimeters thinner than the 40 millimeter F2 uh, Voigtlander. And like I said, the only thing that I don't like about it is this obnoxiously thick lens cap, but who gives a damn about that? That is totally unimportant. You can put whatever the hell you want on there. And that is a very close look at the 28mm Voigtlander, the color Scopar F2.8 SL. Absolutely incredible. Uh, I definitely consider it a must-own lens. And that means a lot coming from me because I'm not really a hardcore fan of the 28mm focal length, but I do enjoy using this one. Because the sharpness and the color rendition and the saturation and the depth and the bokeh on this little pancake lens and how smooth and silky and how fine the construction is make this lens just absolutely 
the tits. <laughs> I say that jokingly, but I mean it really, really seriously. It's just absolutely incredible. It's it's untouchable. It's untouchable by anything else. It's it's just exquisite. It is it is and defines uh, pure uh, exquisite uh, not only manufacturing. You know, you can something can be an exquisite manufacturer and still be a crappy lens, but uh, this is exquisite manufacture, exquisite to use, especially with silky smooth autofocus, uh, excuse me, manual focus, <laughs> but also its uh, color rendition, depth, and its sharpness is just absolutely unbelievable. It's not to be believed until you've actually got one in your hands and you've seen it for yourself. But I had the test samples on video number one, so you can check that out if you like. And thank you for watching. I will catch you later.